module five, there are four different, I guess, like parts to it, you could say. There's static and dynamic equilibrium, um, as well as factors that affect equilibrium, um, calculating the equilibrium constant, which is KEQ, and then branching off of that, you have KSP, which is also solubility equilibria. Um, the concept is a bit similar for both KEQ and KSP, but um, you just got to be, I feel like the difficulty comes in like the wording of the uh, questions. And that being said, I have a practice question for you guys. Um, let me just bring it up. So have a go at this question. I'll give you around two to three minutes. I don't see any responses. I don't know if it's because people are stuck on the question. Okay, we got one response. We got 0 0.707 moles. I was just reading the question if it was asking moles of concentration. So yeah, moles is correct unit. Um, does anyone else have any other responses that they got? I'm locked. Okay, no worries. I have solutions for this, so um, we can go through that. Someone got zero point two. Um. Okay, I think I don't think anyone else. Okay, one more person's typing. Um, once we get their response, I'll go through the solutions. How do we find moles if we aren't given? Volume, good question. Um, we will get into it. Okay, I think one more person's typing. Okay, most people are getting 0 0.707 and then some people are getting 0 0.2. Let's um, look at the question. So let me just go back to slideshow. All right, I'm just going to go through the question. So it's given you an equilibrium constant, which is 50 at 500 degrees Celsius. It's given you the um, equation as well. And it's asking how many moles of HI are present at equilibrium if the concentrations of H2 and I2 are both 0 0.1 and equilibrium concentration is also given. So we just have to plug it in into the KEQ expression. So if we go back to the um, equation, um, KEQ is products of a reactant and then whatever number is at front becomes a power. So in this case, it'll be HI squared over H2 and I2. 
they've already given the equilibrium concentrations for these two so we just sub it in um so therefore it will just be hi squared over 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 and they've given the equilibrium constant as 50 so therefore we have 50 over here so therefore hi is going to be um because like it's a square we have to root all of it um so therefore you would pretty much do 50 over 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 um and you would root all of that and your answer should be 0 0.7 molar. Um, the lowest number of sig figs is one. So I just did it as 0 0.7. Um, moving on. So I'll pretty much be going over um, the more, I guess, straightforward concepts for module five, so the things such as like static or dynamic equilibrium or LCP. And I'll focus more on um, um, KSP because I feel like that is a um, main recommendation just in terms of like the key definitions you should still be aware of them so we know that equilibrium is pretty much where the rate of the forward is the rate of the reverse reactions um, and the concentrations are constant um, and for static equilibrium the rate of forward and rate of reverse is zero but in dynamic it's greater than zero um, so just make sure you memorize this and also memorize um, any relevant colors that you get from the practice that you've done in school. In terms of open and closed system, as well as isolated system, in open you can transfer both matter and energy, in closed you can only transfer energy, and in isolated you cannot transfer both of them. In terms of entropy and enthalpy, um, Entropy is pretty much the chaos or the disorder in a system, and enthalpy is the heat content of the system. Um, and you can relate enthalpy and entropy in terms of Gibbs free energy as well, which I'll get to later on. Also make sure you know how to kind of interpret energy profile diagrams. So in this case, um, for activation energy, um, the concentration or like the potential energy of the reactants to the highest peak energy that it meets um so that's called the trans transition state from my memory um is the activation energy and the difference between energy of reactants and products is the energy that's being released um and in exothermic reactions the energy of reactants is higher than products whereas in endothermic it's vice versa in terms of collision theory, you mainly need this when explaining um, uh, equilibrium questions. So collision theory has three main um, factors. So you have actual collisions, you have your activation energy, and you also have your molecular orientation. So actual collisions is whether it's actually colliding, activation energy is whether it's um, meeting the energy required or it's going above um that energy threshold um and the molecular orientation is whether um you know it's correctly arranged so that when they do collide they're able to um break their bonds and form new bonds 